NASA didn't land this time, a private company did, changing space exploration forever. But why does this mission matter more than any before it? And what's inside this lander that could change the future of moon forever? Stay with me because what I am about to show you will blow your mind. For the first time in history, a private company, Intuitive Machines, has landed on the moon. This isn't just another lunar landing, it's a pivotal moment that could define the future of space exploration. But how did we get here? And why does this mission mark a turning point for humanity's return to the moon? After Apollo, humans didn't return to the moon for over 50 years. But behind the scenes, a quiet revolution was happening. Private companies backed by NASA were preparing for the next giant leap. Interintuitive Machines, a startup that just achieved what nations struggled for the decades. But this isn't just about reaching the moon. This lander is testing something much bigger, something that could change how we explore the cosmos forever. The lander isn't just carrying experiments, it's delivering the first ever cellular network to the moon. Imagine that, the first step towards a fully connected lunar base. Now let's talk about what makes this lander different. The Nova C isn't just a simple spacecraft, it's a technological powerhouse loaded with critical instruments that could redefine lunar exploration. It features the Eagle Cam, a first-of-its-kind camera system designed to capture the lander's descent in real time. This could provide crucial data for future missions. Then there is the navigation Doppler LiDAR, which helps the lander autonomously determine its position and velocity. If this works as expected, future lunar missions could land with pinpoint accuracy, no more risky crash landings. Now you might be wondering, why is a private company leading the mission instead of NASA? The answer is simple, cost and speed. NASA has shifted its strategy, focusing on partnerships with private firms like SpaceX, Blue Origin and Intuitive Machines to reduce expenses while accelerating innovation. This mission is perfect example of that approach in action. This isn't just about exploration, it's about domination, survival and the future of humankind. Whoever controls the moon's resources could control the next era of space travel. And in February 2025, the moment arrived. After a nerve-wracking descent, Nova C touched down, the world held its breath. And then confirmation, the landing was success. But it wasn't perfect, the lander faced unexpected challenges just like past moon missions. Engineers scrambled to fix this in real time. This mission wasn't just a test of technology, it was a test of adoptability. So what now? This is just the beginning. The next lander will be bigger, smarter and capable of carrying astronauts. And the first human settlement on the moon. It might happen sooner than you think. If we can establish a permanent base on the moon, what's stopping us from reaching Mars? The moon is just the first stepping stone in the much bigger journey to become a multi-planetary civilization. So what do you think? Are we finally on the verge of colonizing the moon? Drop your thoughts in the comments and if you love space content, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you never miss any update. I'll see you in the next video.